Hello, I'm Trupaun and in this video we're going to set up CMake on your typical C or C++ project. So let's say that we have this folder structure is that you will see very commonly on, 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 on most C or C++ projects with your include header directory, your source files, your main, even a third party library with his header and basically just prints some stuff from the library or from the main or or your files included so yeah that, that's about it so um in order to add cmake support for this because if you if you have this project you can like and you're on, on linux you can type like a super long uh, command line uh with GCC or G++ or if you want to take a step further you can write a make file to do that for you and if you want to take a step further you can start using CMake and CMake will um, help you if you want to do cross compiling on different compilers or operating systems such as Clang or or Visual C++ and um it also can help you to keep everything standardized uh, but yeah just let's take a look and how will you do that so we're going to name a file just you have to name this file like exactly like this cmake lists.txt and in here we're going to add the like the the, the cmake instructions so let's do that now so as you can see, we added some instructions. We tell him where to find the includes and third-party libraries. We are going to tell him that compile all the C++ CPP files and name the executable like this. This is very similar to what a, a make file does, just with a different syntax, a different language. We're not going to focus on the syntax and language on this video. Instead, we're going to compile it to give it a try. So if you want to test it and compile it, I may leave this project uh, on GitHub and link it somewhere in the description so you can take a look. But in here, we're going to create a build directory it, it doesn't have to be named like that it's just like everyone names their cmake directory like this we are going to call cmake from here and cmake dot dot because the cmake list files is on the parent directory now and this is going to create a bunch of files and more importantly it's going to create a make file that we can compile it and well that's that's about it as you can see as you can see it uh, generates your binary just like you would generate it from your gcc g++ command line argument or from your make file so well that's it thanks for watching